Hello, my name is Kevin Beamster Bower and I do parkour and free running. So essentially parkour is just getting from point A to B the most efficient way possible and wasting the least amount of energy possible and that's through um, movements such as climbing, vaulting, and just other movements like that. Then you have free running which is essentially an offshoot of parkour that involves elements of parkour like getting from point A to B but there's acrobatic movements and other flips put into it and makes it kind of unnecessary and it's more just about the movement and the showiness of it all. Starting out it was mostly me I taught myself the basic movements, the basic vaults, all that. Um, but I was actually a gymnast long before I did parkour. So I had a lot of the acrobatic movements and a lot of the flips down for when I started free running. But the actual parkour in itself, I learned from a coach. His name was Nate. Um, and I was with him for about two years. And he really taught me a lot of the basic concepts and um, all the way up to the harder flips and stuff, and that helped a lot. So, but yes, a lot of it was me, and especially now, I teach myself all this stuff. In fact, I coach parkour and gymnastics at a gym. Do you have some sort of training regimen that you run? Um, not particularly. I mean, I go to a gymnastics gym every so often, work on flips in there, come back outside, you know, try them out here. Hopefully I don't get hurt. Um, but a lot of it is just whenever you feel like it, you know, whatever you want to work on, you work on it. It's very open-ended and you choose what you want to do. When it came to parkour, I looked up videos online, basic tutorials of all the basic movements, and you just get out there and try them. I mean, there's definitely a safety element that comes along with it, but that's where progression comes in, where you don't throw all the big stuff right away, and you don't take the big jumps, you know you work your way up. So I think if you start at the basics, it's very easy to get into parkour. Would you say that there is a learning curve? Um, no. It's, it's really just, like I said, looking stuff up online. Uh, YouTube's a really great resource for that. There's many parkour tutorials of the basics. And then once you get good at that, you can just work your way up to the harder stuff. And there's tutorials on that too. So what did you first think when your son told you that he was going to do parkour? I didn't know what parkour was at the time, and then he told me that it was about running and jumping in different uh, a variety of ways with flips, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I said, yeah, do it. Shambling. So obviously I also do parkour, as I hope. I can demonstrate. I can demonstrate.